Okay, so the New York Islanders are going all in as they acquire Kyle Palmieri and Travis Zajac from the New Jersey Devils in exchange for a 2021 first round pick, a 2022 fourth round pick, AJ Greer and Mason Jobes, the couple of minor league players. I don't really know if they'll ever crack the NHL full time, but this looks like a really good trade for the Islanders. For New Jersey, I mean, it's just, it's kind of tough to see this because they always seem like they're rebuilding every year. It doesn't seem like they're ever gonna get any better. But Devils fans, please keep your heads up because it will get better. You guys have a great coach in Lindy Ruff. You have some great young players like Jack Hughes, uh, Nico Heischer when he's healthy, P.K. Subban's even having a bit of a renaissance even though he's not that young, but maybe he can return to form or at least half return to form. If he does that, the Devils should be in great shape in the future. For Kyle Palmieri, he now has a chance to go win a cup with a great team like the New York Islanders. And to think the Islanders just a couple of years ago few years ago now, the 17-18 season, were not very good. They were worse than the league in goals against. And now they're one of the best defensive teams in the league thanks to their coach, Barry Trotz. And it just goes to show what a difference a good coach can make for you. And now all of a sudden they've added a few pieces like Pajot last year, now Palmieri this year. And couple that with Matt Barzell. Anders Lee is injured right now, but they still have a lot of great players in the lineup. Barzell, like I mentioned, leading the way in that category as far as great players go. And all of a sudden, the New York Islanders now look like a pretty legit threat to win a Stanley Cup. I also want to mention that the Devils do retain 50% of both Zajac and Palmieri's salaries. And it's going to be really weird to see Travis Zajac in a different uniform other than the Devils uniform, but especially a New York Islanders uniform, considering that they're a huge rival of the New Jersey Devils. So that's going to be pretty weird to see as well. As far as winners and losers go in this trade, I'm going to have to declare the Islanders the winner. I think they come out with a really good player in Kyle Palmieri, a great depth piece at this stage in his career in Travis Zajac. For New Jersey, it's not all doom and gloom, though. I mean, you know, that first round pick, say, you know, even if it is a late first round pick, they could draft the next David Pasternak, who was taken, I don't know, 24th or 25th overall or something like that back in the 2014 draft so if they can come out with a player like that not saying that they will but if they do come out with a player like that then that really makes the trade look different and then the devils could look like absolute geniuses for pulling this one off and for kyle palmieri he goes to a great team but it's going to come at a price for him as now that he plays under lou lamorello he's going to have to shave that big thick luscious beard off so unfortunately for him He's going to have to be cleanly shaven. I suppose he can grow it out in the playoffs. I'm pretty sure Lou Lamorello lets his players grow it out in the playoffs, their beards if they want to. But that's going to be pretty interesting to see how that goes down. But all that aside, let me know what all of you think in the comment section below on this great trade for the Islanders. It's not a terrible trade. I don't hate it for New Jersey, but I don't know. Maybe they could have got a little bit more, especially considering the fact that they did retain 50% of both guys' salaries. But let me know all that and more in the comments down below. Please like and subscribe and share this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll talk to you again soon.